On Monday, our school rolled out the red carpet for the 64th first day of school in Hanahan High School history. This year, over a thousand students are walking our halls ready to tackle another school year. Welcome back to the Worldwide Leader of All Things Hanahan. I'm Anna Avery. It's Friday, August 19th, and you're watching Hawks Eye View. A new school year calls for a new student council, and you should run. Here's Andrew Roblero with more. Thanks, Anna. With the new school year starting, it brings a new chance to run for student council. All right, so y'all start working on these? We caught up with Mrs. McSwain, a new math teacher here at Hanahan. She is also one of the co-sponsors for student council. Before coming to Hanahan, she was in charge of the popular student council program at Cane Bay. Well, I think there's a lot of factors that went into making the Cane Bay Student Council a great program, and a large part of that's the kids. We had a shared vision, and the kids were willing to put in the time and the work that it took to bring it to life. And we were also a part of a lot of big events throughout the school that we planned and hosted, and um, to include three huge spirit weeks, so we were always busy, always planning, always working on something. With a new student council leader, it's time for you to step up and run for office. If you want to run for a position, um, we've got the, the elections are open right now. Um, if there's requirements, of course, for all students who want to be in a position, they have to have an average of an 85 or 3.0 GPA. Um, for student body, they have to be seniors and they had to have held a position before. You will then run your campaign, which will end with student council voting after a Hawks Eye View election special. Now back to you, Anna, in the studio. Thanks, Andrew. And you Hawks should really consider running. There's a lot of fresh faces here at Hanahan, so each week we're going to introduce someone new. This week we're starting with our new assistant principal, Ms. Johnson. Thanks, Anna. This new school year has brought a lot of new faculty and staff. One new member of our faculty and staff at Hanahan is our new assistant principal, Ms. Johnson. Well, this is my 22nd year in education. Um, for the first 17, I taught science on the middle school level and high school level. I taught actually at Berkeley High for about four years, I believe. And then I went to Stratford as an assistant principal and I was there for four years and now I'm here. I hope I'm able to motivate and inspire students to be successful, of course, but more than that, I want, children, I want students to feel comfortable, to feel like they are cared about, um, and that we are here for them. It is, it's not just about the academics, it's also about the emotional self. Welcome to Hanahan, Ms. Johnson. We're excited to see what you can do for our school. Nathaniel Miller, Hawks have you. Now back to Hanahan in the studio. Thanks, Nathaniel, and welcome to Hanahan, Ms. Johnson. Keeping things that are new trending, let's talk about some upcoming news. This year, attendance is being strongly enforced. The school district and our high school are upholding students to a strict policy of only five unexcused absences each semester. For an absence to be considered excused, it has to be a medical, family, or judiciary excuse. It has been proven that regular attendance will help your grades too, so make sure you show up. And now we've got some news just for you seniors. If you have not paid your senior fees of $100, make sure to see Ms. Murray in guidance. Fees have to be cash or check and are due by December 9th. The senior fees include a yearbook. Speaking of the yearbook, if you have not had your senior picture taken, call Tumbleson Photography at 843-766-9400. Finally, seniors, please join the Revine class of 2023 at A8E9FB. You can also stop by guidance to pick up a senior newsletter. In it, you'll find a lot of good information. Some of you students have already started to get your Chromebooks. If you had fees or did not return your device last school year, you will not receive a Chromebook this year. By the way, if your Chromebook does not turn on when you hit the power button, plug it into your charger, then power it on. Some devices are in sleep mode. One final tip, take your charger home with you and make sure to leave your charger at home. Dr. Zayner, Miss Jerry, and the library are also excited to announce a brand new club. Want to help design library promotions and select books for the HHS collection? Come by the library and sign up for the library club by 826. Also, make sure to mark the annual Hanahan High School open house on your calendars. Monday, August 29th from 6 to 7.30, our school will open its doors for you and your parents. It's a great way for your family to meet your teachers and to also see what you get to experience each day. Make sure you try to attend. Let's wind up all that school news with some great news. Here's something for our Hawks Eye View team to brag about. 
For the second year in a row, Hawkside View was nominated for a Natus Student Production Award. That's a pretty big deal because Natus hands out Emmy Awards to professionals. So we can proudly say that Hawkside View is the top three best high school newscast in the entire Southeast. And now we're going to try to make that three years in a row for you Hawks. That's enough talk about us. Let's send it over to Wild Bill at the HEV Weather Center to see this weekend's forecast. Yeehaw! Thanks, Anna. And welcome back to the new school year, Hawks. This is my weekend forecast. Rain is on the way this weekend. And by the way, does shrimp make me look fat? Back to Anna in the studio. Oh, oh. Thanks, Bill, and that shirt looks great. Hopefully the rain stays away for tonight's game. Speaking of games, last weekend, Hawks Eye View's very own Braden Joseph threw out the first pitch at the River Dogs game. Our very own HEV Sports anchor was at Joe Riley Park to throw out the first pitch on Saturday after winning a radio contest. His throw was right on target. Nice pitch, Brayden. With that in mind, let's send it over to him so he can catch us up with some Hawk sports. Thanks, Anna. Hope everyone had a great first week back. Let's start the sports cast off with football. Our Hawks have been training hard over the summer, and the whole team feels ready for the season ahead of them. I felt like uh, our guys came on a consistent basis, and I think um, they did a great job um, uh, in, in being able to implement everything that we wanted to do this summer. Uh, if we play hard and uh, stick with everything that we've been taught, and we feel like we'll have an opportunity to win down the stretch. I feel like we've prepared very well for Georgetown. Um, they run a 3-4. We have a pretty tough schedule with Berkeley and Buford, but I feel like we can handle them very well. Hanahan will take on Georgetown tonight at 7.30 in a home game here at Wiley Knight Stadium. The theme for this game is construction, so pull out your best construction attire and be ready to bulldoze the Bulldogs. Now that you're caught up with the boys team, did you know we had a girls football team? Powder Puff needs all you football loving girls to join the team. If you are interested, meet with Officer Scott Monday and Wednesday at 4.30 by the softball fields. You must have a physical and upload all the necessary documents to Planet HS in order to play. If you have any questions, please stop by and see Officer Scott for more details. Let's switch from football to another popular fall sport, volleyball. A huge congratulations goes out to the ladies volleyball team for winning their bracket in last weekend's tournament and soccer seat. Great job, ladies. Speaking of volleyball, did you know our guys have a team? Take a look at this. Hey, Hanahan. You know we now have a men's volleyball team that's going to compete for a state title? Oh, can you bring the... <sighs> hey, guys. If you want to join the men's volleyball team, which you should, here's what you need to know. The final boys tryout for volleyball will be this Tuesday, August 30th from 4.20 to 6. Any guy that has all of his electronic paperwork completed and approved on Planet HS can start attending the weekday training sessions now through August 29th. See Coach Bachman in Room 7 if you are interested and have any questions. You guys should definitely sign up. Now let's take a look at some upcoming events. The girls volleyball team will take on Cathedral at Cathedral on Tuesday, August 23rd at 6.30. The Hawkettes will also be taking on Ashley Ridge at Ashley Ridge High School on Thursday, August 25th at 6.30. Let's talk football. Me and the boys will take on Georgetown tonight and Berkeley next Friday at 7.30. And remember, stay up to date and buy all your tickets at hawkathletics.net. That's all we have this week for you, Hawks. Hope to see you in the stands tonight. Back to Anna in the studio. Thanks, Brayden. Let's end the show right with your new favorite segment. Last Friday, our freshmen got a tour of our high school and Connor Stevens was there. Let's pass it on to Connor Does It. Hey Hanan, welcome back and welcome back to Connor Does It. Each segment, I'm going to be doing something new and this week, I'm going to be leading freshman orientation. Let's go on a tour. Y'all band, it's down here and this is called The Dungeon. Because it was a prison. Yeah. Used to keep people down here. Oh God. Forgot how many stairs are in this building. We're gonna take you to the JK building in a minute. We can't show you the pool because it's under renovation, but it's up there. You know how to read a number. I'm gonna need a show of hands. Who got a locker? Bad choice. Just shame. Not gonna use it. Bad mistake. Never make that again. 
Alright, this is actually the elevator you take to get to the pool. It's on the third story, but it is under maintenance right now. It should start up about midway through the year, give or take. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for yeah, sure. For sure. I don't think this is going in. <laughs> actually, did you know George Washington actually founded this JRTC program back in the 1500s? It's pretty cool. Personally, personally, that's pretty cool. Well, we've learned something. Don't let me give the freshman tour. It was Connor does it with freshman orientation. Now back to Anna and the studios. Thanks, Connor. Hey, Hawks, are you staying up to date with us? Connor does it. Make sure you're following us on Instagram at HawksEyeViewHHS for the latest updates and subscribe to us on YouTube at HawksEyeViewHHS to watch past and present newscasts. Also, make sure you join our HEV Google class. The code is J B K B H P. Three. That's all we have for you this week, Hawks. We hope to see you tonight at the football game versus Georgetown. From all of us here at Hawks Eye View, I'm Anna Avery, and we hope you have a great weekend.